Hey there. Today, let's dive into why anti-cancer drugs work differently for everyone. It's a lot more complex than just genetic mutations. First up, drug interactions. If you're taking other medications, they can interact with your anti-cancer drugs, boosting or reducing their effectiveness. Even those seemingly harmless supplements can play a role. Surprising, right? Next, we've got gene expression regulation. Have you heard of epigenetics? It's how changes like DNA methylation and histone modifications affect gene expression. And then there's microRNA, tiny molecules that can tweak how responsive your cells are to these drugs. It's like your genes are playing DJ to your treatment playlist. Then there's tumor heterogeneity. Picture your tumor as a mixed bag of cells, each with its own quirks. Intratumor heterogeneity means different cells within the same tumor might react differently to treatment. And as tumors grow, they form various clones, each with its unique response. The stage and location of cancer also matter. Early stage cancers might react differently compared to advanced stage ones. Plus, where the cancer is located in your body affects how the drugs are absorbed and distributed. Age and gender play their parts too. Younger bodies metabolize drugs differently than older ones. And men and women might process these drugs differently due to hormonal differences. Genetic predisposition is another factor. If cancer runs in your family, you might respond differently to treatment due to inherited genetic traits. Finally, your psychological state can't be overlooked. Stress and mental health conditions can impact your immune function and metabolism, influencing how well your treatment works. So there you have it. A personalized treatment plan is key. Considering all these factors to find what works best for you, stay informed and stay strong. Until next time, take care.